Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making whole food plant-based lemon bars. They're oil-free, refined sugar-free, nut-free, easy, and delicious. You guys are going to love this. Seriously, the perfect treat for summer and you'll never guess what the main ingredient is. All right, we're gonna start with the star of this recipe and that is a Japanese sweet potato. This is my favorite sweet potato. If you've never had one, you're welcome. <laughs> they are amazing. And they generally have a purple outside um, skin to it and then the inside of it or the flesh is, is white. So it's going to make perfect for our lemon bars today. And I generally find it at our co-op, but I also know Whole Foods and some other stores might carry it as well. Just do a little bit of looking when you go to the grocery store. Um, so what I like to do is I like to take a knife or a fork and pierce all little lines all around our Japanese sweet potato and then I roast it. Roasting it is the best way for this recipe. It gets nice and caramelized and just so good. So we roast it at 400 degrees for around 40 minutes and then I remove the skin. Go ahead and grab your blender. This is so easy, again. We're just gonna add in our non-dairy milk. It's half a cup. Super easy to remember, this whole recipe. Half a cup of lemon juice, and that was fresh squeezed lemon juice. You could also use it from a bottle. It's on your preference. <laughs> and then I have half a cup of date paste that we made at home. And I have link above how to make your date paste. It's so easy. Do not use store-bought date syrup it's different <laughs> you can see how thick this date paste is here and you can kind of play around this is just the sweetness of our lemon bars if you find that it's too sweet or less sweet you can always add more or take away but I find the half a cup is really the perfect spot and it's so easy to remember because it's half a cup of everything we put in the blender so far and then you're gonna add in three cups of your Japanese sweet potatoes that you cooked and I just removed the skins like I said and in goes those. That's really going to make it sweet and, and creamy and really thicken up everything. So we just adore. Again, it's my favorite potato. If you've never tried it, you need to. I'm, I'm huge, huge fans of it. So in goes, like I said, three cups of it. And then you're going to blend until everything is nice and creamy. And it's a thick, it's a thick um, custardy consistency that's what we're looking for so you might need your tamper or you might need to add a little bit more of the non-dairy milk if it if your blender is really not helping it but it worked perfect for me it came out perfect consistency try not to eat it all right away <laughs> it's tempting but you can taste it now and add more dates if you need to or date paste if you need to if it's not sweet enough this is a good place to kind of check it I like to move it to a measuring cup or some kind of glass container and then stick it in the refrigerator while I make the crust. Now, for some reason, our camera cut out when I was making the crust, but it is so easy that I'm just going to walk you through it and you can use any crust that you like if you found something different. So that's in the refrigerator now. I pulled out my food processor that you guys didn't see because my camera didn't record. And I went ahead and added all these ingredients on the screen now to my food processor. So it's so easy. This is our favorite crust. It's one and a half cup of rolled oats. You can add as many pitted dates as you'd like. We do generally between six and eight. And then some liquid is some lemon juice and some non-dairy milk. And we added some extra lemon zest to this specific recipe. You can leave out the um, lemon zest if you're just making it for something else. But it's a perfect no-bake crust recipe. It kind of reminds me of energy balls that you could make for breakfast or on the go and traveling, but into a crust, and it's a no-bake, so how easy. So try not to lick your Pyrex container dry. I set it on the side for us to, for me to enjoy uh, while I was waiting for our bars to kind of set up in the, in the freezer. But go ahead and pour the mixture all over the crust you could also just make the custard part, and that was delicious, and top it with maybe some fresh fruit and serve it in a little cute parfait dish. That would be delightful, but it is really good with the with the crust as well. So just do your best to kind of measure it out evenly, spread it out, and then you can, you can keep this in the freezer for an hour or two to let it set up and then put it in the refrigerator after. Again, it's more of a custardy, topping but it is delicious and so refreshing and just you're going to be so surprised with the ingredients I just said how much you're going to enjoy it like maybe a lemon bar you've had in the past but this is seriously one of our favorite recipes 
that we've been making lately. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will enjoy this. I've just been snacking on a lemon bar. Seriously, it's my favorite summer treat. And I hope you guys will subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. But make sure you go make yourself some lemon bars. Seriously, so good.